Hello everyone and welcome back to another Doughboy Military video. After the success of the How to Identify World War II German Stahlhelms video, I figured it'd be a good idea to make a video on the Stahlhelms of World War I. So let's get into it. The first steel combat helmet introduced to German forces during the First World War was the Giet helmet in 1915. The helmet, featuring a distinctive nasal guard, was tested by the men under General Hans Giet, giving it its name. The Giet helmet proved to be effective in reducing fatal injuries to the head. A year later, the M16 Stahlhelm was introduced to combat in Verdun, the first to feature the distinctive coal scuttle design used in various models dating through the Second World War. Being a major success because of its protective design, the M16 was mass-produced for the next few years. Shortly after this, the M17 was introduced to soldiers of Austria-Hungary almost identical to the M16, except that the M17 featured an Isonzo Brown killer in a chinstrap rivet located noticeably higher on the helmet skirt than in the M16. In 1918, Germany introduced the M18, an improved and slightly modified version of the M16. In the M18, the chinstrap was attached directly to the liner instead of the helmet, barring the need for chinstrap rivets. Along with this, the Germans introduced the M18 ear cutout Stahlhelms, commonly referred to as the telephone operator or cavalry helmet. Although these nicknames are inaccurate, as it was intended for standard use with all troops, these, as the name infers, had a cutout around the ears intended to reduce echo and improve hearing on the battlefield. The M16, 17, and 18 all featured a ventilation lug on both sides of the helmet, used for mounting the stern panzer and additional steel brow plate that offered extra protection. However, the Stern Panzer rarely saw use in combat due to its heavy nature. In addition to the M17, the Austrians utilized the Berndorfer, which lacked both the ventilation lugs and chinstrap rivets, giving it a unique appearance. The final Stahlhelm variant of the First World War was a modified version of the M18 known as the Ottoman variant. This design, by request of Ottoman officers, had the visor, ear, and neck protectors removed by a grinder. These modifications were intended so that soldiers could better hear orders in combat. As always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe to help grow the channel, and I'll see y'all in the next video.